two, one, activate. A classic axe meets flipper tail. Will it be a romantic ending? Down comes the axe of Dominator 2. Bigger Brothers Armory in the front is weaker than in previous series, but stronger around the back. And that flipper is so effective, and Dominator 2 is on its side. Now, it can only effectively self-right if it uses the axe or gets a nudge from a helping friend. Bigger Brother turns friend. Dominator 2 becomes foe instantly, driving Bigger Brother into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, bossed by the house robot. Bigger Brother back on the offensive. This is a very good battle developing here. Very even. Bigger Brother can't get the flipper in. Offensively, down comes the axe, but missing of Dominator 2. The judges will have taken note. There the flipper works of Bigger Brother. At the controls, Ian Watts driving, but Little Joe controls the flipper. He's nine. He loves his Harry. Potter, he loves his computer games. He loves his robot wars. And there, Peter, Paul, and Chris Hall at the controls of Dominator 2. Down comes the axe onto the front lifter, the flipper of Bigger Brother, powered by CO2. Now, we know that CO2-powered flippers have a shelf life. They can't go on throughout a battle or a hate, and Bigger Brother is in trouble from Sir Killalot. The ref bot looks on. Bigger Brother was absolutely awesome in its heat. Heat L, it beat Disco Inferno, the very last heat to make this to series semi final. And Bigger Brother, for me, this would be an upset. I thought they beat Dominator 2, I must admit, but they, they turned turtle now, self right very quickly. So there is still enough CO2 in there. Ian Watts driving, a lecturer by Trey. But I'll tell you what. This has been a lesson he's learned from Dominator 2. And Bigger Brother is teetering on the edge of another CPZ. And the crumpling Sir Killalot comes out and tries to drive up and over Ellie Watts, Bigger Brother. Oh, goodness me, they know they're in trouble. Dominator 2, for me, has gone through. Well, they think so too. It's in game. Oh, dear. Did you like that fight? Did you like that fight? A right Royal Rumble, that. Far too close to call. Going to have to go to the judges. While they're making up their minds, let's see the highlights. For the fight, either gone bigger, brother. Down came the axe of Dominator 2, and they were aggressive all the way through. Not too much damage caused. Style from Bigger Brother will have counted in its favour and overwent Dominator 2. So this was a good spell for Bigger Brother. But Dominator 2 forced their way on top with persistence, good aggression, and Bigger Brother got themselves trapped. And from then on, it was Dominator's fight for me. And you can see it written all over the Bigger Brother team faces there. They knew their machine was in peril. The judges have made their decision based on style, control, damage, and aggression. Quite controversial, this. They've gone for Dominator 2! Um, how are you, Ali? How do you feel? Disappointing. Is it disappointing, was it? Yeah. Um, it's the look of the draw, though, isn't it? Mm. You know? You're not out yet, you know? Yeah. You, you've got the loser's melee. Now, all the losers go into a melee, and the winner of that, they go through, so there's still hope. So, um, get down there and fix that robot. I'll get my big hammer out, then. <laughs> Knock <laughs> the holes out. You're the second seeds, and we don't want to lose us. I tell uh, you what, though, they did well, didn't they? They did well. We lost our drive, but they were just keeping away from us. But there you were go. doing a lot of flipping. You flipped them quite a few times. Yeah. Actually, they were driving rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> A very graceful loser, ladies and gentlemen. Bigger brother! <laughs> you were sweating there, weren't you, eh? I was winding you up. <laughs> and you've done it well. <laughs> <laughs> you thought there was going to be one of those judges' controversial decisions? Uh, that? that would have been very controversial, yeah. They're the second seeds, man. Yeah. You just whack them. Uh -huh, if so you can good. beat Bigger Brother, you can beat anyone, can't you? 
We're going to give it a best shot, yes. Oh, do you think you're going to do it? Oh, we've got to do it. We oh, must do it. We must. What about the quiet one at the end? Should we get a box for you next time? I think you need one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dominator 2! From East Tilbury in Essex, the number 10 seed, Spawn Again. A fourth series semi-final in a row, but they've never gone further, and I gather they have troubles. We've got major problems. you got another one. What's that? You're up against terahertz next. <laughs> Men are allowed to cry. Oh, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. If we can get it going, we'll be fine. But what are those problems to the four-wheel drive, to the 1.4 kilowatt power, or perhaps to the 1,000 psi gas-powered flipper? From Oxford in Oxfordshire, terahertz. The only unseated machine in the semi-final, but suspect in the past to flippers like Spawn Against. Yeah, flippers never like flippers. Flippers are always difficult. That's a pretty formidable axe. Yeah. I don't want to cheer you up too much, because they are very depressed, actually. It's got quite a lot of work to do to it. They have. It's not working very well. Okay, yeah, but they are a very good robot, too. They are a very good robot. Polycarbonate. It has the most powerful action robot wars, they say. Double-headed, highly aggressive, strong armour, hyperactive. But it has unpredictable spasms. Don't we all, dear? Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the two teams. Spawn again. Darren Hayden Wall on the left, Luke Chapman on the right. And the terahertz boys, John Reed there on the right-hand side, Dominic Parkinson on the left at the controls of the weapons. In the arena for the house robots, once again, is Mr Psycho with a huge hammer and the claws. And dead metal with the serrated saw, Scorpion Pincers. Pensioners spawn again, prepares to take a bit of a blow from Terahertz for Graham Warner. Couldn't be here, but he's done such a lot of work behind the scenes over the past few months for the spawn again boys. Down comes the double-headed axe blade of Terahertz. Brilliant in qualifying against Panic Attack. <laughs> Knocking out the eight seeds. There, John Reed at the controls of Terahertz. Jumping and leaping. Like a flea out there to worry and nibble away at Spawn Again. Look at the damage caused to Spawn Again's CO2 flipper. You're talking a metre long, that flipper. But I don't know whether it can work here or whether or not it's taken too much of a bashing Spawn Again. And is this going to be another surprise? The number 10 seeds are being beaten by this tenacious little unseeded terror. Spawn Again in the clutches of dead metal. And I think that repeated axe blow technique of Terahertz once again has caused immeasurable damage. Spawn again, simply never got going. They're not out of Robot Wars yet. They will go into the loser's melee, I would think. I would think, I'm sure. Terahertz look tremendously confident. We know them from the past, of course, in Robot Wars, but they've never been beyond the heat, either with their previous incarnation as Kilohertz or now as Terahertz. They will march on, though, and it's Spawn again, destined for the loser's melee. And now, of course, the house robots can come in and have a little bit of fun, because Spawn again ended up in their clutches. Metal. Crumpled. And like an autumn leaf, Spawn again is lifted and raised, only to drop in dastardly style onto that arena floor. Mr. Ugly is Mr. Psycho, of course. Mr. Gruesome is Mr. Psycho. Mr. Merciless is Mr. Psycho. Imagine him as your uncle. Imagine him as your teacher. Imagine him as the boy next door, Mr. Psycho. Terror, it's well done. Woo! Spawn again. Splattered and absolutely battered by the pulverizing power of Terror!